Hey, my name is Dan. This particular video is a free video from my full course on HTML5 banner advertising using Adobe Animate. There are also free files and I've got some finished files that I save after each YouTube video that you can download from my website. Uh, I'll throw a link down in the description. All right, let's get on to some banner making. All right, in this video, we're gonna look at adjusting our instances, okay? So in our library here is our um, Mama Bob, actually it's Papa Bob, and he is uh, what's called a symbol, and over here are his instances or his children. Okay, so we wanna style these children so they all look different. This could be, say, um, we're gonna do it with these guys, but it might be that, say you wanna do things when you've got instances and there's hundreds of them or thousands of them, say like raindrops or something or snowflakes, and you want them to be the same but very similar. Uh, sorry, the same but have slight variations of them. Okay, and that's what we're gonna do now is go and do some variation. Now, what you didn't see was in the video that I, I got halfway through, showing you this already, and it crashed. Why? It was because I was flipping between some filters really quickly and my machine went and died. And um, so it kind of brings up a good point. Um, it does have an auto recovery. You must give it a name to start with. If it's called untitled, it doesn't work very well. Okay, so you need to at least save it once at the beginning and then it will re uh, auto recover. The only trouble is, is that it does it every 10 minutes. So I was only about four minutes into my little demo before it went and died. So I'm gonna go show you how to adjust it. So under um, Adobe Animate and under preferences, uh, if you're on a PC, it's under edit and right down the bottom here should have preferences, or it should be somewhere. Okay, um, um, uh, Animate CC, I'm gonna go to preferences, and we're gonna switch to general and auto recovery. You definitely want this on, um, but I'm gonna turn mine down to every two minutes. Okay, just so I don't lose so much. I lost that whole bit, <laughs> the whole four minutes of my little uh, animation there. The only problem with this is that it's going to be a little bit more system demanding and it's gonna kind of flicker and pause when it's doing an auto recovery, but hey ho, you decide what works for you. Um, all right, so let's go off and start styling these guys. So there's a few easy things we can do to make them look different. The, uh, the scale is one of them. So I'm using my free transform tool and I'm gonna click, hold and drag it out. Okay, so I've got a few different fellas in here. You can be there, you can be that size and you can be a nice bit smaller. Okay, I'm gonna copy and paste one of them. So I've got a fifth one, even smaller guy, way at the front. Okay, so it's kind of giving a, uh, a feel of depth. Okay, so this guy may be further away because he's smaller. And the other thing you can do with the free transform tool is obviously rotate them. So that's something you can do with different instances to make them look a little different. So say if this is your snowflakes, you could kind of rotate them around so they all weren't looking exactly identical. Great. So there's a couple of things we can do. The next ones we can do is I'm gonna go back to my selection tool. I'm gonna to click on, say this one here is under properties. Okay, if you're on library, go back to properties. Under color effect, there's one called style. Brightness, I don't really use, just kind of makes it whiter and darker. Okay, I don't find that particularly useful. Put it back to zero. Um, this one here, tint. Okay, this changes the color of it. This is great when you wanna change the full color, but it does a bit of a weird thing where you can see it overlays my eye. And it's not a particularly great way of doing color effects. You can lower the tint, so it's kind of like just a hue over the top. I guess it's a bit green. Same with this one here. I'll go to tint, and I'll pick a blue. You can see I can kind of tint them a little bit, but uh, it's uh, you might find useful for it. It'd be great for our snowflakes again, or raindrops, or something else that's a little bit more generic. Um, the other thing we can do is I'm gonna click on this guy and um, we're gonna skip advanced and go to alpha. Alpha is how see-through it is. It's defaulted to zero, okay? You might have to drag yours up or down, but you can see if I make it 50% see-through, it's actually, um, yeah, I can start seeing through this guy here. He's the ghost version of the front there. And one thing you can't do is, well, you can, but watch this, if I select this guy, and I know he's got a color applied to him, could tint. I can't do the alpha at the same time. It switches between alpha and tint. Okay, if you wanna do both of them, you go to advanced. And advanced gets really nerdy, but it allows you to do the color one and there's your alpha there and you can lower it down. So you can do tint and alpha at the same time. All right, so that's some of the things. Let's look at uh, this one here. I'm gonna get rid of the tint. Um, I want it to be, oh, it crashed again. All right, let's see how far it went back with my, uh, let's reopen it. And because it was auto saved um, and I took it down to two minutes, Let's see, it's gonna try and restart it. Let's click yes. Did I lose much? I 
didn't, did I? Doing all right. All right, so that's the reason we have auto recovery. Let's hit save to make sure I've saved it. So you need to save often, especially when it's crashing. Mine doesn't tend to do this. I, n I don't fiddle around with these color effects very often, but it seems to be messing up with my machine this morning. All right, we're back. Um, <clears throat> okay, so now we're back. So the last thing I wanna show you is we've played around with the color effects, the size of rotation. Now we're gonna play around with some of the filters down here. So I'm gonna click on this guy here, the big guy, um, and under filters, Okay, you might have to twirl it down. I'm gonna hit this little drop down here and there's one in here called blur. So there's a few, I can make him glow. He's got a red glow behind him. So they're not, not quite big enough. I might have to um, make it bigger so you can kind of start to see it, see the red glow. So he could be different that way. I'm gonna grab this guy and actually apply him. I'm gonna use the one blur. Okay, I like the blur one. It kind of makes it feel like he's Maybe really close. So I'm going to do it with this guy. Actually, you're going to. I'm going to add a second one to be blur, and I'm going to crank it up. So it feels like he's kind of like out of focus, depth of field wise, and um, he's really close to the camera. Okay, so you can play around with blur. You can play with any of these filters. Okay, that are available in here, and it just means that uh, you can have one primary symbol, MC Bob and lots of his instances, and they only load one MC Bob, but all of his instances can be transformed to look quite unique, keeping the file size nice and low. All right, that's it for the free video. It was pretty good, right? What I really want you to do now is I want you to go and sign up for my full course. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you're keen. I have loads of other good free stuff, so make sure you subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it, and yeah, how did I, good YouTube people?